Good evening everyone. Ang topic po natin for tonight ay wrong entry of gender sa birth certificate. So, importante po na tama yung gender na naka-indicate sa birth certificate natin para hindi pa tayo nagkakaproblema sa mga job applications natin o kaya sa pagka-apply ng government ID, visa, school records, examinations, passport, at iba pa. So, kapag mali po yung naipasok na kasarian sa birth certificate, pwede po siyang itama no, sa LCR under RA10172. Hindi na po kailangang idaan pa ito sa korte para maitama lang yung maling entry na kasarian sa birth certificate. So, kapag blanco or parehong nakacheck ang male at female dun po sa gender portion ng birth certificate ninyo, kailangan po ninyong mag-file ng supplemental report para mailagay yung tamang gender. So, magpe-prepare po kayo ng affidavit of supplemental report indicating the missing detail entry in the birth certificate. Like in this case, yung gender po. Isama nyo rin yung reasons why it was left blank in case blanco po siya at mag-prepare ng supporting documents para sa inyong supplemental report like medical records, school records, at iba pa. So, yung supplemental report po ay kailangang i-file sa LCR kung saan registered yung birth. So, let's go back to our topic for tonight. Under RA10172, ang Consul General o kaya naman ng LCR lamang ang may authority na mag-correct ng maling entry ng gender sa birth certificate. So, sa ganito klase ng error, yung may-ari ng dokumento lamang ang pwedeng mag-apply ng correction. Dapat personal po siyang pupunta sa LCR o kaya naman ay sa Philippine Consulate. Yung civil registrar lang po lamang or yung consul general ang may quasi-judicial power na gawin yung correction. Hindi po siya pwedeng i-delegate. So unlike other types of errors, pwede ang parents or other persons authorized by law or by the document owner to an SPA. Hindi pwedeng iba ang maglakad ng correction ng maling gender ng birth certificate po ninyo. So, or mal ng maling gender sa birth certificate po ninyo. Kapag minor po kayo, pwedeng i-assist ng parents or guardian pero dapat kasama yung minor pagpunta sa LCR. So dapat yung pag-file ng petition ninyo ng for correction sa LCR kung saan naka-register yung birth. Ha? Take note, hindi po pwedeng sa ibang LCR or sa nearest LCR. Yung IRR po ng RA10172 ay hindi po nag-provide ng alternative venue for the correction of gender in birth certificate. So, ilan po sa mga documents na kailang ipresenta sa LCR ang mga sumusunod ay suggest idala nyo ang parehong original at two or more photocopies sa mga sumusunod. Siyempre, yung kopya po ng birth certificate na kailangan i-correct. Ito po yung local copy or yung galing sa LCR. Ito po yung certificate of live birth. Siyempre, yung PSA copy po ng birth certificate ninyo. Notarized petition for correction. Sa LCR po ninyo kukunin yung petition. May form po sila nun. Um, earliest school record or earliest school documents. Ito po yung mga school records ninyo, yung elementary, like Form 137. Tapos yung medical records po ninyo. Pag sa babae, pwede po dito yung laboratory results from previous cesarean operation, ultrasound results or scan, dental records, pwede rin. Then, syempre, baptismal records and other documents issued by religious authorities. Kapag married po yung document owner, kailangan din idala ang kopya ng marriage certificate. So, required, required din na mag-present ng clearance or certification that the owner of the document has no pending administrative, civil, or criminal case or no criminal record. So, makukuha po ninyo yung clearance or certification na ito sa employer, sa National Bureau of Investigation, at sa Philippine National Police. Siyempre, employer if employed. Ngayon, kapag hindi po kayo employed, pwede na po yung affidavit of non-employment to be executed by the document owner. Kapag self-employed naman, affidavit of self-employment. So, sa parehong affidavit of self-employment or affidavit of non-employment, pakilagay po yung purpose, which is correction of gender sa birth certificate and please indicate na wala kayong pending case. Kapag sa abroad po yan, I mean, sa, uh, kapag sa abroad nagtatrabaho at hindi nakapag-issue yung employer ninyo ng certification of employment, mag-submit na lang na affidavit yung document owner stating yung purpose, which is correction of gender sa birth certificate. Um, yung fact na wala siyang pending case at syempre na yung, yung hindi pag-issue ng kanyang employer abroad ng certification. So, sa ibang LCR, pinaparequire po sa mga estudyante na currently enrolled na mag-submit ng certificate of good moral character mula sa kanilang eskwelahan. And syempre yung um, clearance from NBI, yung purpose po dapat sa NBI clearance ay petition to correct sex or gender. Dapat correct din po ito. Mas maganda kung kumuha na lang kayo ng bago um, online. 
Then Philippine National Police Clearance from PNP. Yung purpose po dapat sa police clearance ay petition to correct sex or gender. Dapat current din po with 6 months validity. Sa pagkuha po ng police, uh, police clearance, yung iba niya require yung picture, updated cedula at barangay clearance. So maganda po niya bago po kayo kumuha ng police clearance, meron na kayong mga documents na ito. So hindi po required ang NBI at police clearance sa mga batang 7 years old and below. Like sa Manila Civil Registry Office, hindi po nila pinaparecord 7 years old and below ang pagpresent ng NBI at um, police clearance. Siyempre, affidavit of publication from the publisher and a copy of the newspaper clipping. Um, ito po yung pag-publish ng petition nyo. Mami, i-discuss ko po yung tukong sa publication. So, kailangan po yung kumuha kayo ng affidavit of publication mula dun sa publisher na nag-publish ng inyong petition. Then, in case of correction of gender, the petition shall be supported with the medical certification issued by an accredited government physician that the petitioner has not undergone sex change or sex transplant. Sa medical certification, dapat nakalagay yung full name po ng government physician with a valid medical or PRC license. Siyempre, name ng hospital, yung kanya pong designation sa hospital, and contact number. So, this is in view of the fact that the petition for correction of gender can only be based on a mistake or clerical error. So, a man who has undergone surgery to change the reproductive organ to that of a female cannot correct the entry of his gender in the birth certificate to female. Magdala din po ng government-issued or valid identification card, tulad ng SSS, GSIS, UNID, driver's license, passport, no, kahit two valid IDs at most. Pwede rin po mag-require yung LCR ng additional documents na kailangan pang isubmit. So, mas maganda pagdadamihan po ninyo yung idadala yung proof sa LCR para hindi na po kayo pabalik-balik. So, pagpunta nyo po sa LCR, i-receive po yung documents nyo. No? I-chat kung may discrepancy at syempre yung authenticity of your supporting documents. Yung petition po ninyo ay ipapublish sa newspaper of general circulation at least once a week for two consecutive weeks. Ito po yung binabanggit ko kaninang affidavit na mula sa publisher. Then, ipopost din po yung petition nyo in a conspicuous place for 10 consecutive days. If the LCRO finds your petition and its supporting documents sufficient in form and substance. Ira-review din po yan ng PSA Legal Division. Yung petition nyo for 4 weeks depending on the volume transaction. So, may filing fee at publication fee po kayong babayaran, depende po yan sa LCR. Pag migrant petition, may additional service fee na 1,000 pesos pang kailangan. So, ilang buwan din po yung abutin bago matapos yung proseso sa LCR at PSA. So, para magkaroon kayo ng idea kung gaano katagal at kung magkano yung estimate na fees. Yung isang LCR na alam ko dito sa NCR, 5 months po yung time frame nila. At sa kanila, 5,000 to 6,000 pesos yung fees as of 2020 po yan. 3,000 ang filing fee uh, kahit saang LCR na sa IRR po yan ng Republic Act 10172. So po pwedeng tumagal hanggang isang taon or even higher than 6,000 pesos po yung pwedeng gastusin. So may publication fee din po, magkakaiba yan. Yung alam kong LCR dito po, sa NCR 2,000 pesos yung publication fee niya. So, yung rules in exempt po yung indigents from payment of the filing fees as long as their petition is supported by um, certification from the city or municipal social welfare office that the petition is an indigent. Um, yung exemption po dito ay para lamang po sa filing fees, fees po sa um, IRR. So, may babayaran pa rin pong publication fee. So, kung kahit indigent ka, babayaran mo pa rin po yun. So, kapag aside sa correction of error under RE10172, Kapag yung document uh, owner, may petition pa siya pa, na kailang i-file para sa correction of error under RA9048, to po yung mga clerical error, halimbawa may maling say, um, spelling, at both petitions were simultaneously filed. And it involves the same document, ito po yung birth certificate, 3,000 pesos lang po yung babayaran based IRR ng RA10172. So hindi, na po, hindi po kayo sisingili ng separate um, filing fees. So parehong petition, 3,000 pesos lang po. So, para mabilis po yung proseso, pag-process ng petition nyo, idala nyo na po lahat ng requirements. Kasi yung ibang LCR, hindi tinatanggap yung petition for correction of wrong entry of gender kapag incomplete po yung requirements. Dito na po nagtatapos yung video natin for tonight. Maraming salamat po sa panonood.